hell, after this documentary, you'll probably have a bunch of 15-year-olds who'll go back and listen to the record and try to cancel J-Lo in 2022. New York is different. I learned that when I moved up here. You have Spanish people who say the N-word. A lot of these Spanish people are Afro-Latinos as well. A lot of these people, they grew up in hip-hop culture. You know, they grew up right next to us, right? They grew up right next to black people in these, you know, different boroughs in New York. And they don't get treated any differently than black people get treated, you know, systemically. You know, police harass them just as much as they do us. And, you know, hip-hop, man, has always blurred the lines when it comes to the N-word, simply because we make it sound so cool. You know what I'm saying? If you're a fan of hip-hop and you love hip-hop, and you know, you riding around listening to certain records, man, and that word pops up, you might just subconsciously spew it out of your mouth. And some of these kids may not even understand the historical context of that word. And even if they do understand the historical context of that word, we're the culture who said, no, we took that word and we took the power out of that word and now we use it as a term of endearment. How do you know that's bullshit? You know it's bullshit because when you hear it from somebody who's not black, it still makes you feel away. And that's what happened with that J-Lo record. They heard J-Lo use that record. They said J-Lo was a, you know, Latino woman. And they was like, I don't think she should be using that. When a white person says that you damn sure, it's like, hell no, you shouldn't be using that. With J-Lo, you're like, I'm not sure. I'm not the police, you know? I don't think, honestly, I honestly, it, I don't think any of us should use the word. Me included. And I, it's a habit I've been trying to break for a long time.